somebody wrote their name so randy i've got your shoes and i'm gonna sell them uh YouTube, what's going on? My name is Rob Chesapeake Picker here. Uh, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you like anything you see here, I'm sure you will. So I'm going to take you guys out. I went to a couple Goodwills today, a couple CHKD thrift stores. So we're going to go out, do some thrifting, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. All right, we're going to go check out Goodwill now, see what we got. This is my favorite one to come to because I find a lot of the best stuff here. It's about 45 minutes after they opened. So hopefully we still get some good picks. Like, I mean, this is off topic, it's not music, but um, DVDs. I mean, of course, you remember Blockbuster. Does it work again? They're shut down here. I, um, like seven months ago, I was down there. Oh my God, that was like the last place to get DVDs. When I go to Goodwill, I like to check out the shoes first because a lot of people check them out and, you know, I want to get first crack, so. a pair of Heelys. I think I'll pick those up really good condition. It's a nice pair of Johnson and Murphy's too. I've done well with those. Those are a little too beat up. I'm going to pass. It's a nice pair of Danskin. These things go all over the place. Uh, sometimes they sell well, sometimes they don't. These are in good shape, so I'm going to pick those up. Timberlands. Nice pair of Timberlands. 50, 60 bucks. Get those. Pick these up too. feeling that these are worth a lot of money, but I don't know who makes them. Sketchers. We'll pick these up. I think these might clean up pretty well. What do we got here? It's 12. Let's get them. Let's 
check out this chkd now i don't often find stuff here but it's less than a mile away from cool bins so i'm already here so let's go in and see what we got it's a pretty nice pair of new balance shoes um a little bit of staining on them, but I think I'm going to pick those up. So we got over here. Pick this one up. Some soul comms are 20 bucks, 298. This one's in rough shape. And we're gonna pass on that one just because of the condition. Oh, we got any games, puzzles. If it was sealed, I'd pick it up. Anything? Slim pickings. Got forty bucks. Nope. What is this? Helmet, probably not worth it. The beach chair. Oh, there should be a price on it. You finished with the price? Yes. Thank you. No problem. Oh, you know what? I got, I forgot I had something else in here. That's okay. I got these two. Are you a first responder, sir? No. I'm a nurse. We don't get anything. A nurse? Is that what you said? Yeah. They never count us. <laughs> I do. Well, thank you. Now that's five fifty-two. Appreciate can I you. Add Forty-eight cents for the kit. Sure can. There's the purchase. Appreciate it. What was this like a? It was like a Miller Lite work jacket. Men's 
2X or XL. I'm gonna pick this up, $7.99. I think I can sell that. These new sealed solitaire games can go for pretty big money. $3.25, that's a pickup. I got these Norfolk Tides hats. I do really well with selling these local baseball team hats. I mean, they I buy them for three bucks. They sell for 15 to 20. Got this Cleveland one for my son. We got the Durham Bulls. And the Monarchs, that's our local football team here. So I picked up these Asics uh, fresh foam or flight foam running shoes. These things are in excellent condition. Um, Asics, they sell okay. They're not one of your top sellers, but these were $4.98. Sold comps on them about uh, 35 bucks. These are a 4E wide. So niche there. And uh, I mean, it doesn't look like anybody ever wore them. Also got these Merrells here. These are a men's size, uh, what, nine and a half? Yeah. Um, excellent condition on these two. Um, not a lot out there in the market in this style, but every single one of them has sold. So like three listed, three sold. I split the uh, average on these, put them up for $32.99 plus shipping. And you got these Jordans here. These are a men's size 10 and a half. Um, super excellent condition on these. Um, again, don't they look like they were part of somebody's collection. Probably the best set I've come across. Um, not a lot out there, but all of them have sold. Sold comps all over the place. I put them up for 100 bucks plus shipping, so we'll see how they do. And then I picked up this pair of Nikes here. Never really seen a pair of shoes like this. It's a men's size 10. Um, kind of a weird woven thing. Sold comps on them pretty good. I gotta do a little bit of cleanup there, but this all should come off okay. These were $6.98. They priced them for me basically at the register, and I had them, so I went and got them. Uh, probably about $35 to $45 on these. It's kind of a cool jacket here. It's this, uh, it's a Miller Lite uh, logo jacket here from Flexback. Um, so I don't know if this is like a driver's jacket or something, but uh, good sold comps on them. It's got this big logo on the back here. I picked this up for $7.99 from Goodwill. Um, I think sold comps will be pretty good. I'm thinking 35 to 50 some dollars on this. We'll see about that one. So vintage champion sweatshirts sell really well, especially if they got schools on them. If you got some of your Ivy League schools, that sells better. This is a really good condition on here. Unfortunately, it's a men's size small, so that's going to take away from the value on it. But I got this for, I think it was $4.50. And uh, I'm probably going to put this up at auction and see how I do. Probably starting around $40. bucks. we will see on that, but I don't see any stains I think I can get that little part out, but other than that, it's looking good. Picked up a lot of clothing on this trip here, but I got this, uh, it's a Russell size large. This is an Auburn uh, jacket here. I think that I'm gonna do pretty well on this. I mean, got it for Goodwill, at Goodwill for $5.49. I think I can probably get some decent profit out of it. A couple little spots on the back, but that's nothing that's not gonna just kind of scrape off with a fingernail. Pretty good there. So we got this solitaire game. This was $3.25 at Goodwill. Um, new, sealed. These things always sell well. This is, I think, sold comps on this for about $25 uh, plus shipping. So happy I got that. My wife's nuts for nutcrackers. If I don't pick these up for it, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So I think that's going to be a little early present for her. 40 bucks. All right, so my GoPro quit on me in the middle of at the other Goodwill. So I'm going to break you down what I got here. I got a ton, a ton of shoes between two stops. So I got this pair of really nice, like, suede Timberland shoes here. These are, what, size men's 10 and a half. Great size on there. So I got these Timberland boots as well. These are a size 11 men's. Now, they got this little bit of gunk on here. I think I can clean that off with just some alcohol or some vinegar, maybe even... A little bit of water if I need to, but not too much on that. Now, this here is a pair of women's Heelys. These are, what, size 8. Again, great size. And these things don't look like they've been hardly worn at all. I think any scuff marks can come out of that pretty good. 
Now I've done really well with the uh, Johnston and Murphy shoes. And this is a really cool two-tone wingtip shoe here, or Oxfords, whatever this one in particular is called. Uh, these don't look like they've seen much action at all. These are a size 11. Great size on here. I wasn't familiar with this, oh, this Cole Han. Yeah, I was familiar with this brand. Um, I normally wouldn't pick these up, but I did see a sold comp on these. It was around 25 bucks. These here, these are a men's size nine. I believe they're men's, they look like men's, um, but they are in excellent condition. And that's why I picked them up. So 25 bucks and I got these, you know, all for like 549. This pair of Skechers, slightly worn out here on the tops and stuff here. This is a men's, uh, this one is probably an 11. Most of these are, yep, men's size 11. I think these came all from the same person. I got some women's Danskin shoes. Um, these here sold comps on these about 25 to 30 bucks. And you can see there's like no wear on these things. And that's why I picked them up. And then I got another pair of uh, Timberlands here. So he's like a men's loafer. Excellent condition on these guys here. Timberland lo Timberlands are gonna sell good all the time. So I'm awesome with that. Now I got this whole stack over here. Oh, can't forget these. Got another pair of Timberlands. So these are men's, like a suede shoe. This one I'm not sure about. There's some kind of stickiness on here, and I think some vinegar will get that off. Just a little vinegar on a white towel or some rubbing alcohol on there. Nothing to get it wet and stain it too bad, but I th I'm going to try that. I think it's worth it. Got this pair of Nike Airs. These, these are a men's size 12, a little bigger. I mean, these things are tip-top shape. Somebody wrote their name, so Randy, I've got your shoes and I'm going to sell them. Um, these are, look like they were never really worn, hardly, maybe once or twice. So again, these were $5.49. I think I got these actually on sale because I used my 20% off coupon at my next one. Got this cool pair of Skechers here. These are a men's size 12. Uh, little, these are probably the roughest shaped shoes I got. But again, uh, these Climacools, they can sell pretty good. You know, not top dollar, but I think they'll be good. Just a little bit of uh, water, clean those up. This other pair of Johnston and Murphy Browns, me, brown men's shoes. I like the brown versus like the black and stuff because there's less of them on the market. They'll be good. We got some Crocs. And some Crocs loafers. I didn't really look these up, but I know that Crocs are in demand. All the they're popular now again for some reason. My kids love them, and um, I've never seen Crocs in the wild before. So I'm gonna take a gamble on these guys. Again, what do we got here? Outdoor performance Timberlands. These men's size 11 and a half. Excellent condition. Oh excellent condition on these guys so i'm looking to be quite profitable here got a pair of merrells i've sold a couple pairs of merrells these here are excellent shape uh these like probably hiking shoes again don't look like they ever went hiking these things are funky looking these tech lift things took me a while to find the comp on these but uh, these sell for pretty good money so these probably go somewhere around 60 to 70 bucks. Men's size 12, funky color. And we got another pair of Timberland boots here, like a suede, nice condition on these. I think these are a men's size nine. So, and then these, I wasn't sure about them, but again, I was getting them on sale. There's a little bit of cracking and stuff, this pair of Skechers. They've got a very unique color. There's some suede on there. There's some leather on there. Um, very cool looking shoe. And again, if you look at the bottom in here, this is mostly from just the desk right here. So I guess I gotta clean my desk. But I don't think these were ever worn. I can't list them as new, there's no tags, but these are practically new. Um, just a little, bit of, a little bit of this kind of stuff here. So these New Balance here, they got a, just a little bit of staining on the top of there, but these things look like they were brand new here. Uh, they wrote 398 on the side, that'll rub off. Um, not too worried about that, but I think these are a good find. I think for $25 uh, to $30, I'm gonna be sitting pretty on these as long as I can get that staining out. And even if I don't, they probably still sell for 24 bucks.
Some of those Stephen King books were a little beat up, but this one was good. It's Under the Dome. Um, very, very nice first edition copy of this. $2.98. Um, I spent it up on a little bit, but I'm happy to do that because it's going to sell between $25 and $50. Out of the way, on the way out of that Goodwill, I, uh, some lady was sitting in a parking lot and she asked me if I could use any men's, like, very large clothing. Um, and I'm like, sure, I guess. You're just giving it away. She, was, she didn't want to donate it for a company to sell, but she figured she'd give it to me and if I could do whatever I want with it. So I said, okay. So I took it. So I got a big old bag of clothes here. I've looked through it. Nothing in here is too great. These are mostly men's size three and four X stuff. So pants anywhere from 48 to 52. There's some, some jeans in here, some shorts or some dress shirts and stuff. Nothing too super fancy or anything like that, but it is all in good condition. So I can tell it was freshly laundered. I can tell here I'm probably going to iron up these shirts. And uh, if they're worthwhile, I'll list them. Again, I have nothing into this. So what the heck? I might as well see if I can make some money. I thought this thing was cool here. This is this bottle cap mini disc golf uh, game. I got a buddy of mine that uh, owns a store that sells disc golf stuff and dart supplies. And, uh, you know, we do that when we go on mancation, which is coming up in just a few weeks. And uh, I thought this was cool. So either A, maybe I'll give it to him as a present or I'll sell it. It was, what, $3.25 at Goodwill. So Compson is about $25 plus shipping, even though it's got that little $9.99 tag, but that'll come off with some uh with some chemicals there and uh yeah i may sell it i'm gonna give it as a gift we'll see i also grabbed a, a few more books here so i'm gonna go through these now i got the hunger games this is the first one the reason i picked this up is because i have the other two just sitting on a shelf and i need to complete the lot so i'm gonna throw that with it not really super profitable series but i do have them so I added one more. And then I got this Star Wars Episode 1. Currently, I have Episode 2 up. Doesn't really sell that well. This one does sell better. So I'm going to lot those two together, put them back up for a higher price. And if I come across Episode 3, which does sell really well, I'll lot all three of them up and make myself a nice bundle. But if they move in the meantime, they move. And then I got Twilight on hardcover here. Again, not really a series that's going to net you a lot of money, so I wouldn't recommend trying to pick this up unless you can get it really cheap. But from other random sourcing and really cheap pickups, I have the other three books in the series. So I figured I'd spend the $3, get this, and get something off my death pile, because I don't see this one very often. I see the other three books out and about all the time, but I don't see this one, and I don't see it in hardcover when I do. When I do, it's usually paperback. So get it up, get it out. They, they sell around 30 bucks or so, maybe a little bit less. So again, either one of those series, not gonna make you any more than 25, 30 bucks after any fees and all that stuff, unless you got some special box or anything. Um, so I picked them up already, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Appreciate it. Um, if you liked anything you see here, hit that like button. Subscribe down below for more content. Turn that little bell on for notifications. Any questions or comments in the box. I'll see you guys in the next one.